Good day everyone. Hope all is well with this. This is a wee post I was going to do Ephesians 6 verse 10 about the armour of God but God led me in a different path. So but I'll read this verse anyway. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Finding my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Then it goes on to speak about putting on the armour of God. But the Lord led him in a different path. Why do we need to be strong in the Lord? I asked myself in this about this verse. And Paul alludes to this why we need to be strong in God. Paul Paul alludes to this in Second Corinthians two eleven. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices and then I ask myself the next question what are Satan's de de devices and the main one that popped into my head was lies lies, lies, lies and that's uh, the devil's main tactic he tells you a bundle of lies he's a father of lies Proverbs 6 16 to 19 this passage in Proverbs Speaks of six things the Lord hates. Seven are an abomination. Tell him. So Proverbs 6 and 17 tells us this. That God hates a lying tongue. He goes on to say in Proverbs 6 19. He reaffirms these words but in a stronger context. He says this. A false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren. That's the word of God. Them that are false witness tell lies, basically, that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Why does God hate lies? It's a simple question. Why does God hate lies? And it's a simple answer. Because if you're telling lies, you're basically doing the work of Satan. For he is the father of lies. But our father in heaven is the father of truth. John seventeen seventeen says this, Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. And we know that Jesus is the truth. Because it says in John 14 verse 6, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. But I'm going to look at John eight forty four here. And it's how Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees at this time. He says these words, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. The devil was a murderer from the very outset. From the Garden of Eden, he was a murderer. Because there, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar, and the father of it. Satan is a liar, and he's lying to God's children. He's lying... Through the media, he's lying. Through all sorts of governments and control, he's a father of lies. And he used people to you to tell lies because he, cause they're doing uh, Satan's work. Proverbs 12, 22 says this, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal tru truly are a delight. Uh, Romans one twenty five, in the middle of Romans one twenty five, it says, "Who changed the truth of God into a lie?" I was speaking here in Romans one twenty five about false idols, and we'll look at this now in a wee minute. False idols, Psalm five verse six, "Thou shalt destroy them that speaketh leasing," which basically means falsehood or lies. Psalm four verse two. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing, lying or falsehood and untruth? And at the end of that psalm it says Selah, which means to pause. So pause upon this psalm. We'll read it again and let us pause upon it. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek 
after a leasing. It's like this world is just obsessed with lies and they just they know the government's land them and yet they still trust them. They still seek after them. I cannot get my head around it. I really cannot. Jonah 2 verse 8 They that observe lying that's idols in this instant vanities forsake their own mercy. You forsake your own mercy when you listen to lies. When you worship false idols. Psalm 55 23 says this But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I, I being the psalmist David, will trust in ye. David says he'll trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord's word. Trust in the Holy Scriptures. Trust in the word of God. Stop listening to the lies of the enemy. For he is the father of lies. Habakkuk 2.18 What profit the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. See, people would rather trust in dumb idols than trust uh, the truth of God's word. It's a sad fact. Matthew Poole's commentary in this line, the teacher of lies, this is his commentary, says this, But whether graven or molten, yet all not some, as my words, all such images are but teachers of lies. You can look that up in Jeremiah 10, 8 to 14. They withdraw the mind of God, our true and only helper, and bewitch men to trust idols in which there is no help. Whichever prove lies to all that trusted in them. My word to you this day is stop trusting the lies of the enemy and trust in God's word. For God word is God's word is truth, and God cannot tell a lie. Proverbs three verse six, five and six even. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to the prompting of the still small voice. Listen to God. Stop. Stop it. Born again, Christian, blood bought. Stop listening to the lies of the devil and get into the word of God and get the truth and the knowledge of God into your spirit, into your very being and hide, hide the word of God in your heart that you would not sin against him. Hide it there and meditate as it says in Joshua, meditate on my word day and night. Trust in the Lord today. Stop listening to the lies of the devil, for he is the father of lies. God bless you.